Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. Well, welcome back to our second part of our operator overloads for our C++ object oriented lesson. Um, the second part I'm going to actually overload the OStream operator, the, the thing that allows us to output things to the screen. Now here's what we'd like to be able to do. We'd like to be able to say my box or uh, C out my box one and be able to um, print off the the box itself. And you'll see that it's not defined. We get that little squiggly yellow line there and using C line says ah, that operation is not defined. Well, let's go define it. All right, we'll go down here in our uh, area where we put our uh, overloads. Now, in this particular case, I've got to include the IOStream library in this for this to work. Otherwise, you get an error. So we will say uh, we're going to return. We're going to make it a friend. And typically, we do make the OStream output operator a friend. A friend of a class is a member function or another class. Um, that has, uh, it's not part of the class, but it has access to the private data items, which is very handy. Okay, very handy indeed. Uh, OStream, we're going to output that. It has to be a reference uh, operator, and that is less than less than. Now, this works also with the input, too, so keep that in mind. Uh, we have to uh, pass in uh, and tell it uh, what thing we're going to output to. Now, in this particular case, uh, we're going to actually output to an OStream type and it's by reference and we'll call it uh, we'll give it a name uh, we'll just say OS for output stream and then we have to pass in a constant uh, box object now since it's not part of the class uh, we have to pass the box object in this is a unary operator well let's go write that uh, function and um, it's really uh, straightforward to write and uh, what you're going to I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, copy the draw okay let me get the draw function here okay. let's see here's the draw right here and uh, I'm going to copy the draw and I'm going to copy it down to right there say copy and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say um, uh, OSTREAM return reference operator dedute, okay, and then OSTREAM OSTREAM we're going to pass that out, we'll call it OS and then uh, constant box B okay, and we will uncopy the box now then, um, what we've got to do now is uh, we've got to go through and uh, we've got to change a few things. Okay, first of all, every place that uh, C out appears, we've got to replace that with OS, and every place that the uh, size, fill, and border, we have to replace that with B and give it the the size of that. See that? So I'm going to pause this, and we're going to actually take care of that and I'll unpause it and we'll come back and show you what it looks like so just keep in mind I'm going to replace every place I see see out I'm going to replace it with OS and then every place I see size fill and border I'm going to put a B period in front of it and then the last thing I'm going to do down here is I'm going to return OS I've got to return that back to the calling routine so I'm going to take care of all that and then uh, we'll run it and uh, see what happens uh, look, I'll be back in a little bit. <clears throat> okay, returning back to the uh, the session here, I think I've about got it. What I've done is I've gone through and every place I saw so out, see out, I replaced with OS, and every place I saw size, border, and fill, I put a B period in front of it so it matches the parameter. So, and every place there where there was a return, I had to say return OS because I'm returning an OStream object. So I was very careful about that. So it took me a few minutes to do that. And I'm just going through right now and making sure all my 
my ducks are in order. It looks good. Well, let's go back to the main routine and okay that little squiggly line's gone away. So what we should see now is the last thing out of this program is we should have my box one should draw the box of uh, that size and uh, we will build this and that looks okay and let's run it and zip there it is and there it is the box right there there's box one as it printed out so again just to review um, this is the uh, overload of the op OS stream output uh, operator for uh, an object in class and we define what that is so in box.h we usually make it a friend we usually make it a friend now if I made it part of the class I would just leave off the uh, the parameter constant to box B but we usually make it a friend I couldn't tell you why I'll look it up someday uh, that's just a common thing to do and in the implementation we look at the implementation down here um, again we're passing in the OStream object that we're going to actually build and the object that we want to output and this is just a uh, a slight modification of the draw uh, member function and uh, we reference the object we want b b dot uh, excuse me let me undo that here I made a syntax error uh, b dot uh, put the b dot in front of all the private items I could also have accessed the uh, uh, accessor functions all two I could have gotten get, get size right here instead of size but I access the private items directly just to show you that since it's a friend uh, a friend class that uh, you can actually do that we drew the box and then when we're all done we just say return OS and it uh, returns that string back to uh, the called routine and sends it to C out standard output oh, very good well the third part of this the last part of it I'm going to uh, go over some of the other uh, friend um, common overloads that we have including a lot of the uh, uh, logical operators uh, which are also very very handy. We, again, we usually make those friends and uh, show you what they're like, and that should uh, that should do us for operator overloads or a brief introductory. Again, if you like this, uh, press like on the uh, button and uh, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And uh, have a good day.